Hi all, uh, welcome you to the next session of uh, uh, MBA software testing practical uh, demonstration. Today we will uh, study on uh, <coughs> the another tool called uh, understand for C++, uh, this is used for a static analysis purpose. So we will try to go through sample C code, uh, how to configure the project and uh, Using the understand the for CC process tool, and uh, we'll try to select some of the metrics and uh, analyze them, and uh, finally we'll get generate the report and how we can see the report. So we can use a static analysis so example with understand for uh, CC process. Okay, so we will try to invoke uh, the tool. So the tool will be installed uh, something like this. Understand uh, uh, this tool is a static analysis tool from uh, scientific uh, toolworks dot inc. So you can also get a evaluation version of uh, this, and you can use it for 15 days for practicing. And uh, this can be downloaded with free. Okay, so we know that. Uh, so what are the things that we do in uh, static analysis like uh, uh, we know the difference between dynamic and uh, static analysis in dynamic analysis uh, what we do is uh, we will uh, do the testing of embedded software when the software is uh, running on the target whereas in the static uh, testing or static analysis uh, testing we don't need to run the embedded software that is of uh, Testing the interest basically what we do is uh, in offline or statically we will try to run the various test cases or uh, the various aspects of the embedded software. So one of the important thing that uh, we need to be knowing about the static analysis that uh, We know that uh, so no need of uh, target uh, execution uh, need the inputs based on the test strategy which basically requires the manual inputs in a sense these inputs could be the source code, of course, test cases or test scenarios we need. Then we need a low level design document or requirement document, let's say, and test strategy what is that test scenario what we have told. So, wherever we need the static analysis type of a testing that is required, for example, we have a control coupling. Data coupling, right? So this is one of the static analysis aspects of verification methodology. We will see the flow graph of the embedded software with the help of control coupling, where the call tree is getting generated, and we will see who is calling whom and whether their code is there, the object is there, etc. So with that help of the control flow, we do the control coupling. So that uh, the embed software is uh, being verified with that way. The other way is the interface between the various uh, variables between uh, different functions. We use uh, the method called data coupling. <coughs> okay. Okay. So we have uh, understand for C C plus plus. It is from uh, SEA tools, we can get more information about this uh, web page that is called uh, SEA tech or SEA tools dot com I think, uh, let us try to look into their website uh, so that more information we can get it, SEA tools dot com yes.
okay so we did connect before that uh, we did not understand here you have a couple of windows available these are the standard uh, windows uh, menu items in terms of file selecting the new file or creating a new file creating a project for understand c++ how oh, understand c++ works is basically it creates a project of the source the embed software source and it will configure and it will have a mechanism such a way that it will try to understand the source and generate the report okay uh, similarly we have edit search project project has a configuring of the various uh, type of uh, metrics that we want to do uh, in terms of other and uh, if we add more files we can analyze further the change files only and check for any updates of the files so the source files we can do with this and we can generate the reports with this and metric summary of the entire project or the entire file can be seen here metrics export can be exported to you format as such as a csv file or html so that the complete report is available with the appropriate links we can run through command also and we can add a pulse script as a additional thing and any iso tools such as configuration and all that if it is part of the scm or the software configuration mode we can use this option of course the standard options are available in terms of what files what app app environment we are going to use we'll go through this when we select a few sample okay so let's try to open up a file called test.udc the name of the project it uses is udc and this is a sample for create called main.c and as soon as i select that it is uh, adding to the project of this own understand c++ and uh, displaying all the details that are required inside the file that i have chosen so based on that i will see the several options is going to generate the various uh, items such as uh, it uh, defines the file the path where it is defined the globals that are used the functions global functions there is a delay function there is a main function there is nothing at the different line numbers you can see and in total matrix of this file it is shown you can see count line count line code count line command count line inactive like non executable executable line and commented line etc so all this based on the matrix that you have you chosen is going to show similarly we have a different type of of options here if it is c++ you can use that to process global objects who is calling all these options can be seen okay so we have chosen the project we have selected the file probably we will try to reconfigure it so what we do is i will edit that and create a new one so we have this path we will try create a new project new project so it is close the current project i will close we will create a est test and uh, we have a source sample source for this class same path we want to generate okay now as soon as we are uh, created the project it is showing the project configuration how this project this static analysis uh, understand for this uh, tool can be configured so in the source you have to tell that source where you should pick you can select the source like sample c code we have we will try to see that
So there is a C file created for example with some embedded software or simple example which has a main <coughs> which has some uh, declarations such as intertype, volatile, uh, some registers. Um, basically, this is a toggle uh, GPIO toggle uh, project which uses uh, simple functions in terms of uh, outputting the value uh, in a uh, segment or seven segment sort of a display you can see that 3 f it displays 0 it is initializing basically to start with and you know any embedded software will run in a while one loop that is the, that's the life of that embedded software and you can see there are different functionalities that are getting done within this. So let us not bother about what it does but so different sorts of like we have structure we have a sub function called we have a for loop so there is a assignment statement etc. So there is a delay function there is a output function so what it does is this will display 0 1 2 3 continuously so that is a function within the while one loop so this will be continuously going down. So it is going to call different sub functions such as delay let us say what this delay does for i equal to for 0 to some 1 lakh it is going to run so based on the processor clock and all that that much delay it is going to happen typically they use this this is calculated offhand then there is a function called nothing so nothing just does nothing it can return or it can have a return 0 since it is not doing anything ok. So we will save this so having the two sub functions and one main function here while one node simplest main dot c we will try to configure in our static analysis here. so file filter what are the types of files that I want to select it star dot cpp I do not want but you can have nothing wrong with that you can select assembly file uh, some compilers will produce a star dot list file that is also an assembly file C++ based extensions C C files header file H file C file etc. So it is going to add that with this so that is what we do with the sources so next we have options so based on uh, what sort of analysis we need we can select this uh, options so any local object declaration you want to do we can use it so we have some local setting we can select it the parameter reference any parameters we are passing it, we can use it and in this case we do not need so any nested comments are there we can use it uh, it is uh, giving a information saying that nested comments are not standard features of C++ usually it is uh, better to avoid that enabling nested comment support can produce unexpected results so he is asking not to enable it so better we will uh, not use the nested command ok associate comments so comments uh, typically they write about the source code right so let us see whether we have uh, Return any comment. Okay, let's try to put some comments in our comment. Sample EST embedded testing program. I declaration. Similarly, registers declare. More register and output register. So of course we can see this comment is side to this, but uh, it is advised not to have this here. But it will have about the source line. For timing, we'll keep it here. Anyway, the project will understand the comments which are above or below likewise.
so we have comments as well for each of the line so that is what uh, associating the comments so we are saying that comments before definition or after definition longest comment before or after definition so we just say comments before definitions of the variables or the usage of that the below one is a compiler basically this doesn't do the compile but to what sort of a compiler we are using we need to choose why because it is going to generate the report for a type of c language and what sort of a compiler that we use for embedded software is needed in terms of understanding what we are trying to generate it so we can use anything uh, for example arm alpha x HPUX, IAR, etc. KLC, like as we have. Let's say to choose Borland C++. So any pass compiler separately, user specific or client specific or client specific, you want to add it, you can add the path. There is the option here. Okay. Next one is the include. You know that include is required for header file or any pass specific header file. You want to add that? We can add with this. In this case, we don't have any header file so for time being. We'll leave it off. So sometimes what will happen is there are standard libraries like stdio.h, conio.h, which are part of the compiler inbuilt within the library, and we are not able to explicitly show the path. In that case, what we can do is we can ignore that particular include files so that it doesn't take care of that. The next one is the macros. Any macros that you want to use it across the project, you can name that and define where it is. That you can add it. Next one is the MSVC. So it's for VC plus VC projects. We don't need that. File types. What are the types of files that I use, including header file in my project? Is what we have to tell. We have C++ type, C++ type, mixed C++ type. So safe is to use mixed C++ type. So I will choose C because we have only .c file. And once you use the C++ or C, you can select CPP extensions, the C++ extension, C extensions it uses C. Otherwise default it uses C. And header file, what are the header files? Sometimes CPP will be having, H will be used in general. We can mention it. So all the things we have done. So we are going to add now the particular C code, and we can see the path it is showing, and it has chosen with that cross mark. So the main is chosen here after all these options have been done. So I'm going to save this. So project configuration has changed. That means I have changed some configuration. In order to incorporate change, it is recommended that all files be repassed. So rebuild now. That means whatever the options we have given, the project is going to be rebuilt with these options. So I'll say yes. You can see the project is added and a new project with a database is that it's created here, completed successfully. So you can see there is something it would have created called test EST test UDC. And similarly, when we generate the project. It will show up all the specific files under this folder, not this folder, because this was for the previous one. Now it's going to create a EST test folder. Underneath that, all the specific report files will be stored. Okay. Now the first job we have done by doing the project creation and adding all the files. Now let's try to. Configure the project which we have done. Let's try to change some file. Change analyzed, analyzed changed files. So it will do if any changes have been done, it will reanalyze. And if any changes are required to be analyzed, just analyze without configuration, it can do it. Analyze all files. So it will also check for update files. All one source file unchanged. That means only one source is there. And you can see if you touch this file, you 
just put a space and close it it will do your analysis because we have moved it check for updated files so it is showing that one of one file has been affected that means this file has got changed and again we need to analyze all files multiple files it will be analyzing now you can we can create the report of this source what the several options like html report you want a text report you can do now it is not enabled why because we are yet to uh, generate the report once we generate the report we can view it in html or text other thing is matrix export is one of the important option uh, what we do is what sort of a matrix that we need is all we are going to have it okay so cyclometric complexity is one of the important thing. you know that it just the complexity of the program it is going to do so those parts which are of your hand interest will add it so they are cyclometric uh, basically selected matrix to generate already added many things so what we do is we will select all and remove it and we will select again whatever is needed we need a cyclometric we need a lines lines of code how many lines of comments are there declaration calls function classes is also c++ specific let us not select that methods are also not required count line maybe you can take out this you can add the uh, uh, average average let us take we will remove it is of that we will have count line count line how many blank lines are there code declared how much is there code executable how much is there count line comment how much is there count line code is already there we we'll let it okay next work statement executable cyclometric so every cyclometric will take it out we just have cyclometric complexity we can also select the maximum cyclometric complexity of this function this uh, file which we have selected we can have it there are different types of cyclometric as well script modified etc any nesting that we want we can do rest the ratio of comment to code how much percentage usually it is expected to be 100 percent let us see how much is there in this we will add that now once we have all this we can select other options like where I want to generate this is a matrix dot text so we will select something like matrix est test dot text then we will say Okay, so it will be saved. It is not generated yet. We will generate it, and uh, okay. For generating the project uh, report, so there are several options. So those options are something like you want to generate a text type of output, or you want to generate HTML, or both. It's up to you how you want to generate it. Let's try to generate both and see. And HTML also you can have a single one bundle HTML. It can be alphabetic. Every n entities you want to generate like number of uh, HTMLs. Let's try to put a HTML alphabetic so that it should be readable, and uh, that will be good. So allow scripts. If you want to allow scripts, you can have it. The links and all that will be created. Similarly, we'll try to generate the text also. In the path is going to generate like est tst dot text, and uh, there are certain options like we generate time on report like timestamp. You can have it what time this project uh, complexity or the project uh, analysis report have been generated with the understand which process all will be done. So the reports, the kind of reports that we want, 
we can have it. We can it should be a multiple file projects. It's good to have file matrix, class over matrix which we don't need, unused objects, project matrix, unused functions, dead code what our strength can be this only. We can select all this and we can say okay. Like there is a file contents data dictionary based on the objects and the data that is available in the tool uh, in the source. Macro reference anything is there. Function cross reference include file reference. So new question three is also very important for the control flow and control coupling. Function complexity all this will be generated. You can say okay. So now selecting all that like path and everything we can have. Generate test. So I will try to generate now. So there is no directory called this one. So it's going to create it. Let's try to generate. Yes, generate quickly because it's a simple one file. You can see here in this path it has generated. Generating report and all that invocation tree and everything. Okay. That we'll see after some other thing. Like you can see. You can select what are the files available here, and uh, this file you can see the main delay functions are there. Main thing like these three are there. You can see count line is 11, etc. So let's try to see the report. Now you can see it is enabled because we have configured and generated the report. So you can generate again and again. How many times you want, you can do it. It's going to generate the report. And you can export the metrics that we have done. We can see the summary of the public project. You can see where the project report is available. How many classes? There is no class zero. How many files? One. There are three functions. Total number of lines is 111. There are 31 blank lines. There are 76 line numbers of code is there. There is about 53 lines of comment is there. Inactive means it's not used. Like it's not there. You can see ratio comment versus score is 70, 0.70, is 70 percent. So it is expected that every line of code is having one comment, so that it is 1.0 or 100 percent. Okay. Now let us try to see the view. Either you can see from directly from this folder. Let's try to see the folder. Yes, it has created this folder. All the reports. You can see this different HTML files. Let's see index or title. Let's try to open this. Okay. So you can see it's very good uh, that it has uh, reported uh, in nice way in HTML. Whatever we have seen in the tool, this can be reported and sent to the customer or uh, for uh, justification, saying that this is what the code is there, this is what the report is there. Likewise, okay. Same thing can be seen. All this report, whatever we have generated, in the tool also with the option report view html yeah. you can see the complete project report with this option you can see on the right hand side the option is available uh, in terms of a final report and website you can see the TOC table of contents like a documentation it does you can select the index what you want to see you can select the report similar to whatever we have a browsing same way you can see the report the data dictionary summary report it will show what are the data dictionary that is available you can see a b c is disabled because there is no data available with that letter let us try to click on d because it is available what it is Yeah, there is a function called delay. We know that. So that data it is displaying. This delay is a function, and it's under the 
main dot c 96 line this is all so it is something like a good linking report it generates that is about data dictionary summary you can see the file contains report what are the files that in a nutshell it is available under main dot c similarly it will list completely for the entire project since here only one file is there showing the below global functions the three functions you can see delay main nothing object cross reference you can see there are this many objects local objects set use modify set use modify how many are there in each line of the file delay also has about three set use and modify so there is no class or reference report function cross reference reports let us see so these are the functions main nothing delay in directionary along with this we have another additional thing data which is nothing but the output registers you can see here ok next one we will try to see the invocation pre report so delay then nothing this delay is calling nothing this is the invocation of course main should be calling delay that also should be seen you can see that from main delay is getting called similarly nothing is independent it is not calling in so whatever the calls are there it will show main is calling at the higher level one level as delay this is the report the below one is a ok same thing function complexity this is interesting we will try to see what it does function complexity is at what complex level it is there so cyclometric is 2 we know that delay has 2 edges Just try to quickly understand the delay where it is. Yeah. So there is a this one and this one. It can take two path, right? One is with this, one is with this. For loop is one. And this is a normal statement. So it is why that is why it is showing a cyclometric for two. This is one nesting. We have seen that, right? Each function matrix we are going to show it. So for delay, total number of lines is ten. Comment is one. This comment is one. Yeah, there is one comment, right? Delay. It is showing here. Total number of blank lines are two, etc. So the rate here is very bad. Ratio comment versus code. Let's try to make it hundred percent. When we re execute this again later, similarly, we can select uh, other functions like main. You can see the total number of lines is 92, comma is 51, blank line is so 26, there is no inactive, 63 lines of code is there, line executable is 55, line declared is 78, uh, 8, statement executable is uh, 78, statement declared is 7. 80% is the 81% is the ratio of the comment versus code. You can see definition of each of this automatic is the measure of complexity of a function mission support. So, cyclometric complexity is also a number of basis or dependent paths through a model. We know this because we have studied about the cyclometric or mechanical complexity in one of the embedded software testing class. So all the definitions of comment line negative, all these metrics that we have generated is shown here. File matrix, the entire files like this. If you have more, it will show as many files as we have. Total number of lines. Similar way, whatever we have seen at the functional level, it is showing at the file level. File average matrix, 
entire project matrix which we have seen in the basis report here same thing it is displayed here unused functions anything is there that will show it is interesting let us see so what is unused Okay. So there are uh, three unused functions are there. Uh, unused, quite uh, says as function. It's basically a variable or anything it could be. Mod register one, mod register two. What is the three? These three are unused. It's saying. Uh, let us see. Yes, what is the one is assigned just is never used anymore, right? Yes. What is already showing is unused. The word is defined and declared here is never used. So, like, twice you can get for the complex. Uh, just imagine uh, if the program is having uh, some ten thousand lines of code. Very difficult to see manually. So we just use the project matrix to analyze how good shape it is and what is that uh, it's available in terms of metrics the complexity and all that stuff. Okay. So the other thing that we can see with this tool is that uh, the calling uh, detail. Of course, uh, one more thing I forgot you can see the source file here also. You can edit also. Yes, you can edit. You can do like an editor this project as well. Similarly, it has linked delay. You can see various options for each function. You can find where and all it is used. What is the line? What is the property? Likewise, you can see the details. You can go forth and back for the different tools. Let's try to understand the other options like each function. You can change case it's like a regular thing. Uh, read source, it will open the source and it will allow you to solve. Since there is no separate uh, uh, linked function, we can use this. So if it is say it's edit source, we do it, it will go ahead. Why? Because we try to edit this. Now let us see let us see okay, we the information. You can on the left hand side you can see. The parameters there is nothing. Return type is integer by default. Uh, that is a C compiler or whatever we are using. Is showing that. The other one is a call wise overall calling this guy. Delay is calling, and the delay is getting inter called by main, right? Where delay is called. It's here. Similarly, references so like call delay main 100, 101 line define main dot c it is available on zero seven line number is showing and metrics how many number of lines are there in this there are five one two three four five right the comment is zero there is no comment you can see inactive is also nothing cyclometrics is just one path so that is how simplistically we can use this now. For static analysis, where you have a complex program, as I was showing in one of the embedded class testing class, there is a call tree. With this option, you can see. You can see call by declaration, declaration file. Like this, you can see it's called by, and what it returns, you can see it. Similarly, declaration file. This is a file main dot c. But there are other functions also it is showing. I click on any one, it will show that function. And we have invocation in disabled because it is not invoking any other function. We just return it. Whereas higher functions we can see, we'll see that call by we can see overall calling. We should show delay, and delay should be called by main. You can see nicely 
when in the when is calling delay delay is calling nothing you can see individual also all by it is showing the same thing and you can select the levels how many levels you want like if you having it's calling again calling calling like this you have up to 10 level or whatever the level you want you can do it let's try to see for delay call by just a main and similarly it is calling invocation is enabled right you see now delay is getting invoking nothing also so like this it is very useful to have a control go control graph or flow graph it is better to have this kind of a report for static analysis it will be easier for review finding the bugs anything is more statically that is how we can use this uh, understand for C++ effectively in general ok so preferences anything we have missed uh, you can have logs timestamp and all that line colors uh, these are all general standards that we can use syntax cloud uh, there are a lot of options but basic options what we have studied is about creating the project configuring it and selecting the kind of report ok now let us try to see from this one independently you can see the first report it is showing the first file I just active Excel enable it because there could be some links you can see automatically all link main if you click it will show the data dictionary of this moment uh, what are the annual objects it has in red it is showing etc it is in the second window it is showing along with the line numbers similarly click on anything else delay it is showing is a function is referred by main and it is used here similarly i if you see i is declared And how I is used that also it very neatly shown. Like it is defined here, set in here, use it here, modify it here. Like this. So it's very important to understand how the variable flow is happening. That's what how we do with the data coupling. <laughs> so data coupling. Yeah. So okay. Now we have seen this. Anything else you want to try? Probably. We will try to put that uh, uh, ratio as 100 percent wherever the executable lines is there we will try to put it here comment just for example I will put so that we will see how it is fixed suppose this bug like total projects where is it 30 percent let us try to make it 100 percent by adding the missing command here we have to make two copies here this thing this function also let it be how more of something like command okay similarly we will have here command function delay let to put a command is already comment is there return also has a comment this should should show as a hundred percent return zero you can add a comment something like return nothing okay for timing so every line of code we have a comment let us make sure that anything we have missed every line you can see there is a comment here one is missing we add it here Command. This is a command. This is a command. Suppose 20% uh, violation is uh, used. As if we are developer, we are trying to put the commands. We don't need to put the first one because already we have it. So once it is done, better we need to save it and definitely. Analyze all files. Check 
for update files. So is a file change, right? So now analyze the changed files. So let's try to analyze it. It is completed successfully. If there is an error or something linking or it will be a warning or to show some errors. Okay. Now let's try to see the metric summary. Whether it is improvement is there, yes. From seventy to eighty eight percent it has improved. Still that means well it has missed about twelve lines we have missed to provide the command. So that you can take it as a exercise and fix it, and we can rerun this in the next session. Or if you want, you can try yourself with understand for C C plus plus. Okay, so likewise, we can have a complex projects. Uh, I have a few other uh, sample projects. Let's try to see. It's just for reference. Okay, close the current project and all this. Okay, so it's not having anything. Nothing is there. Okay, let's see any other project is available. Okay. And now one more example. Let us see. You can see a little bit more complex project here. So I'm one of the sample program. You can see there are files. These many files are there, there, and there is a comment that the ratio was less. It was not sure there. More comments are there, so it is more than one. Also, is there? So chances are that that also can happen. Why? Because you would have put more comments for each of the line. That is the reason. That is why it is showing us more than one point zero. So you can see one example. This one. Let's try to see. Uh, it's not showing call by. Let's see. It can show this. It's not showing probably it is in a read mode. Okay. This is basically a dot h file, I think. Yes. So likewise, you can develop a complex project and see bigger thing. So that's how we can do the static analysis, generating the report, and configuring the and analyzing the embedded software program. So basically, what we need is we need to define the metrics, understand the standards, what we need, and try to do it. Okay. So now let us try to put an exercise. For today, it's based on this tools. It says uh, six point one. I'll say. So currently, we have zero point eight eight as a comment versus ratio uh, code. Please fix this. To make sure that it's hundred percent, this it should be one point zero. That is one example. One exercise, sorry. Another exercise could be. After doing this, add another dummy function and call the main. Generate the Macabre complexity and see that it is well within ten. 
course uh, we have a simpler program that might be in the same time. That means complexity of any project should not be more than 10. That's what is the meaning. So we need to do the exercise uh, for the given code. I will uh, share the code and the same code you can use. Example of C code. Configure the project under understand passing process. Select the metrics like MACAD, lines of code, executable lines, comments, and in nesting function references. Of course, the important thing is dead code or objects, control flow or call tree. You can use this data flow or data coupling, you can do it, or data dictionary. All these reports you can generate with the help of this understand for C++, C, C++. Generate the project report, analyze the report and provide a summary. So the summary you can uh, using uh, what we have seen using the HTML or using the tool itself, sometimes the tool may not be available. What we will do is if the customer does not have a tool or something we will generate the HTML and see. We can also see in text file but text file is little tricky to understand HTML is a better way same report is generated as HTML you can see object cross references file contents and each file how it is set each of the registers or the output local variables it shows their objects means the referred variables you can see for this cyclomatic modified strict nesting and all it shows there are various types of cyclomatic complexity so that anyway we have understood about basic cyclomatic complexity and each functions you can see the reports in lines Command etc. for delay main and nothing these functions. That is the file matrix report. Average matrix report also you can see. Unused function report. There is a three unused objects that are used. <coughs> so that is what the report. How we can generate and use it. Okay. So. With that, we'll end understand for C++ for tool go through. We'll, if required, we can touch base at this tool and understand more about the more complex projects. That you can take it as an exercise and we can touch base that. And next exercise, we'll take a study about other aspects like test case management, defect management using test link and Bugzilla. And also in one of the exercise exit four, we try to understand the target based execution, how it can be used. And we have seen the LDRA cover in one of the earlier sessions. Also, we need to see about test case generation, traceability, and checklist checklist filling in the next session. With that, I will end the today's class. Thank you. Bye.